Time on stage, the studio time, the time and time again, bad timing, the absent minded times I'm wondering, will I get my big break this time? I should just throw in the towel and resign and get back on my grind and chalk it up to waste the time and try to make up for lost time. Just yesterday, I looked up in the sky and I saw a sign. It was a blip proclaiming the world was mine. Tyler Williams hiss. Sound condensates as patterns of paradise precipitated fingertips pound African entwined European chords. Sour sweet horns bounce back southern musicians burning toast. Hits river throat, it lacks blues and belly and then it's blown. Sadness showers tobacco clouded room with loneliness. Shall I come here till the summer's day? Thou art more lovely and far more timber. Her up winds do come and shake the darling buds of me, and summer's leaves have all to show. question of encounters and so what I had the students do was to do a stream of consciousness on it um, and they came up with words like people, places, uh, events, feelings, things like that and then I asked them to think about one particular um, key word that, um, sorry, someone needs help, let me, let me go back again. So um, and from there I asked them to focus on one of the key words that they um, suggested and if they can take that and build a, a story around it. So with that I talked about how to do an outline that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, like the kinds of pieces they would want to talk about because that's essentially what a poem is. It has a, a, it tells a story. It's a really good opportunity for me to share like what I'm writing with people which I don't usually do. Um, which I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, right now we're just writing a poem based around the theme of encounter. You have a myriad combination of other words on this paper to use from. So the word you gave me, you can go there. Or you can take something totally different. I used anger walk before, but I could also go shoe sleep, or table torch, or thought breathe. Are you writing definitions? Yes. And write them actually. If you can write it in more than one way, great. Write it as a noun. If it is a noun, then write it as a verb. But you are defining the word. I mean, you guys do that all the time. You know? You guys define language all the time. When I was coming up, fresh was a redefinition of, of, of something. From there, I got them to think about the very first line that they would want to say, and then from there, just have them build, build, build. And when they get stuck, look at the outline again, and go from there. Now, they're almost done. I think we'll have them do about three stances. They're almost done. And what we're going to have them do now is um, read their work, and let's figure out how to make it more poetic, meaning paying attention to um, language usage as far as verbs and adjectives are concerned, finding other ways to say the same exact thing, um, walking away from cliches when possible, so that's that's pretty much it. Form of poetry, in which you take two words that have never been put together before, and you give them a new concept, a new a new reading. And uh, so what I had had to do was to write down a bunch of nouns on one side of the paper, 
switch papers with someone else, and they wrote down the verbs. So what you have there to do is a poem that was written out of a combination of a noun and a verb that she's never seen put together before. And what she's going to read is an explanation, her explanation of what that concept is. Got it? Got it. Pleasure. <laughs> thoughts walk. Now, a walking with your thought takes form. When a person takes time from the shallow depths of life to escape into another land. When I take my thick black sweater into the summer night and escape with the boy who took my heart and my mind wanders onto the street. Step on stage, place your feet, open your mouth, move to the beat. I have seen that look before. The look of hope, love, worry. He wonders too, wonders what she will grow up to be and do. Watching from the back of the bus. So soft and thin, gripping me with monkey feet. So recently kissed, so warm, but shaking like he's cold. Belly, belly, belly. <laughs> belly button gunk. Why do strangers have to be dangerous? Is it okay that it is so young and still in us that just because we don't know people means we don't want to know people? We just had an amazing afternoon with Poets in Public Places as a part of Sun Session. Um, poets came in, did workshops with our students. I think it was really good. Uh, I know a lot of the students are new to writing, so I think it'll be a really wonderful, transformative thing for a lot of them. And I'm so grateful for you guys. It was good. It was kind of, well, we're all theater kids, so it was kind of a good experience to see. Uh, I mean, you always think of, uh, oh, I'm going to go to Broadway or I'm going to go to Hollywood. I mean, this, but this is like another option that you can do. This is another, another um, way of performance art. Yeah, it was cool. I loved it. Watching everyone perform their poetry it really inspired me and it inspired me to write even more than I already do and kinda I had kind of like had an epiphany about poetry and I'm like I, I should do this one. It's really good poem. It's just like another form of art out there that you can just kind of look at and be amazed and be inspired. I was really, really inspired by all the performances. I don't really write, but I'm a huge appreciator of poetry and this is just like a different a different way to see it. It's awesome to see our space here in Urban Arts like totally transformed. It's, uh, that people come in and visit and do a workshop with us and see something really different happening than normally is happening. It's an awesome thing. So thank you.